Is there any reason that a pilot would have if you're at home? And by the way, I've talked to a lot of pilots who say they have flight simulators at home. They love to fly all the time. So having one in and of itself would not necessarily be suspicious. Some disagree, but, but some, many pilots have said that. But deleting files off a flight simulator. Well, the, the, one of the considerations would be is how big the hard drive is on the computer that this pilot was using. Mm -hmm. So if the computer was a you know, one terabyte or larger kind of hard drive, right. it would not indicate that there would be a lack of space on that uh, storage facility. The files that uh, are stored in Flight Simulator don't reside in Flight Simulator to delete them. You have to go into My Documents, go find the folder for Flight Sim, and then go click off each of those. There are th generally three files that belong to each flight. Right. And you would have to go in there and delete those files. All right. So it's not as easy as just dragging it into your recycle bin and then emptying it, is no. what you're saying. You have to go you, actually to another. It takes work. You'd have to know how to do it, and uh, there would have to be a reason why you would do it. Because right. typically pilots are saving flights to refly them. So you don't want to delete it. You want to practice. You want to keep it. All right. Um, what, what is the FBI then looking for? I mean, you've done this kind of sort of forensic analysis. So what are they looking for? I mean, obviously, the, the, the headline we have is that the, the deletion date was February 3rd. Obviously, if he was practicing a bunch of routes, um, that's kind of a long time ago to have deleted. But now you have this Malaysian newspaper. I emphasize we have not confirmed this, saying that they have found that there were five airports near the Indian Ocean on that flight simulator. No, I think the FBI will be looking for deleted files for sure, but that is only one part mm -hmm. of the treasure trove of information that you find on a computer. Every computer, every investigation right now has a computer somewhere in the mix. And right. if you're talking about somebody who was a pilot, had this uh, device at home, I don't think there's anything nefarious about that. Mm -hmm. He would, had to be using this computer to power the flight simulator, but he may have also been using the computer for other purposes. It's right. the same type of back end with, uh, that you have on any kind of computer system. So that'll be an area of investigation for the FBI. To the extent that files were deleted, were they deleted um, deliberately? Were they deleted and overwritten? Right. Uh, were they deleted uh, at a certain point in time? Right. Just as which, you were saying. And which is an interesting point, because by the way, if it is true that these five airports near the Indian Ocean were programmed, obviously there could be reasons that would be not nefarious that that would have happened. But even uh, if, if it did happen, the question would be, when was that, when yeah. was that deleted? Because um, was that in the, before February 3rd or after? Because it was, it was after the guy wasn't trying to cover it up because it was sitting there, along with Diego Garcia, by the way, which we know was also on that flight simulator. I think it's also important to remember yeah. that in a matter like this, you have to account for everything that occurred. So it isn't just looking for things that are troublesome. Right. It's also uh, investigating to see if there are innocent explanations, if people can be cleared, if investigative theories can be shut down based on certain things that are determined. So right. it's important to keep in mind that they're looking for all of the truth that may be on that drive. Right. And Jamie, obviously the point is right now there's the simulator and there's nothing else because there's no plane. So people are focusing in on this. But, you know, we spoke to Alon Gary, who was a, was a former Israeli Air Force pilot who, who now uses, you know, designs flight simulators for right. use in high-end surgery yep. and things like that. He said someone as experienced as the pilot of MH370 would have had um, no need to practice on a simulator. His view was the only way he, reason he would have been using it would be to try unfamiliar, untested <clears throat> routes. You know, you can fly any airport on the planet geographically and topographically correct, in virtually yeah. any airplane. And so there are millions of people out there who enjoy flight simulation and, and fly all over the world with this tool. Right. And it's not unusual for a pilot to uh, Maybe he would practice. want to fly a new route, right? Correct. Get bored with the regular route to Beijing. And he may have yeah. uh, been flying. I don't know if he flew those trips mm -hmm. during his rotation as a pilot. Uh, and if he did, then he would want to practice. And there's nothing uh, nasty about that.